ever thought about tapping into your home's value for a financial boost. Stay tuned to discover the best ways to do so. Remember to like, subscribe and comment to join our community. Home ownership has many benefits, one of which is the ability to draw money from your property. This can be done in multiple ways, which we'll explore in this video. The first method is through a home equity loan, which allows you to borrow against your home's equity. This is a type of second mortgage that you pay back over a set period of time. Home equity loans have fixed interest rates, meaning your payments will remain consistent throughout the life of the loan. This can be beneficial for budgeting purposes, but it also means you'll need to start repaying immediately. Another option is a home equity line of credit or helicopter. This works like a credit card where you can borrow up to a certain limit and repay over time. HELOCs typically have variable interest rates, which can rise and fall over time. This can be risky if rates go up, but you only pay interest on the amount you borrow. You could also consider cash-out refinance. This involves refinancing your mortgage for more than you owe and taking the difference in cash. Cash out refinances often have lower interest rates than other methods, but they extend the life of your mortgage. This could mean paying more in interest over time. Reverse mortgages are another option, but they're typically only available to homeowners over the age of 62. You get to convert a portion of your home's equity into cash. With a reverse mortgage, you don't need to make monthly payments. Instead, the loan is repaid when you sell the house, move out or pass away. Each of these options has pros and cons, which should be carefully considered. Consulting with a financial advisor can be helpful to make the right choice. Remember, your home is collateral when you borrow against it. Defaulting on payments could lead to foreclosure, so it's crucial to understand the terms and conditions. One way to avoid this risk is by renting out a portion of your home. This could be a room, a basement suite, or the entire house if you have alternate living arrangements. Renting can provide a steady stream of income without having to borrow against your home. However, it does come with responsibilities such as maintenance and dealing with tenants. Selling your home is another way to take money out of it. If your home's value has increased since you bought it, you could make a profit. However, selling your home means you'll need to find a new place to live. It's also important to factor in selling costs, such as realtor fees and moving expenses. In conclusion, there are many ways to take money out of your home, each with its own set of considerations. The best method depends on your financial needs and circumstances. Thank you for watching our video. If you found it helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated and helps us continue to provide informative content.